Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to YT News. Here are the top seven cringiest protest moments of 2021. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. All right, now let's begin. Number seven, anti-lockdown protests in Spain, Netherlands, and Denmark. Following the New Year's celebrations, several European countries tightened the COVID-19 restrictions, which meant that a fresh and more severe lockdown was imposed. This started a series of violent protests in Spain, Denmark, and Netherlands, where protesters set fire to COVID-19 testing stations, robbed stores, defied the curfew, and threw rocks at the police. Number six, Indian government's reaction to the farmers' protests. The Parliament of India passed three Farm Acts in September 2020, which were rejected by millions of farmers in India who were still demanding minimum support prices for their produce. Considering the plight of these farmers crushing under the weight of debt, global celebrities and public figures have shown their support towards the protests, but the Indian government refuses to cooperate and has stated that the protests are based on misinformation, which is seriously disappointing. Hundreds of thousands of farmers marched into Delhi on Tuesday from neighboring states. A planned protest, but it deviated from the routes it was allowed on, finally reaching the Red Fort a place of great political and historical significance in India. Police fired rounds of tear gas and in some places led a baton charge. At the heart of this protest, new agricultural laws passed by the government in September last year. Number five, youth-led Thai political movement. On the 28th of February, 2021, Thai protesters marched toward a military base in Bangkok while demanding the resignation of Prime Minister Prayuth Chan Ocha and called for reforms of the monarchy. The authorities' reaction? Sending cops to use tear gas and water cannons against the protesters. Number four, Russian police arrest thousands of protesters. During January 2021, over 3,000 Russians gathered outside the prison in Moscow to show support of opposition figure Alexei Navalny, who was arrested earlier. The protesters were also raising their voices against corruption, lack of democracy, and police violence in Russia, which was proven true after the police arrested thousands of people during the second week of nationwide protests. They are again demonstrating for the release of opposition politician Alexei Navalny. Ahead of the protest, the authorities cordoned off many areas of the city center. Number three, Portland protests on Inauguration Day 2021. Smashing windows of the Democratic headquarters and opposing the police, numerous protest groups spread across Poland in the form of a rally to inaugurate justice, while others raised their voices against ICE, the police force, and President Biden in January 2021. Today, was a, today is a good day for us to celebrate, but having the officers on their bike to come and be disruptive and disrespectful and harass us for no reason, that's not right. We're not doing nothing, we're being peaceful like that. We hope and wish that they understand where we're coming from. No justice, no peace. Black Lives Matter. Give me a Number two, Myanmar protesters killed. Mass protests and acts of disobedience have been seen across Myanmar since the military seized power on the 1st of February 2021. The color red, which is associated with the National League of Democracy, has been doned by the protesters who have been calling for an end to military rule and the release of the country's elected government leaders who were overthrown and detained in the coup. On Wednesday, the 3rd of February, nearly 38 protesters were killed as violent suppression of the Myanmar protest continues. Describing Wednesday as the bloodiest day since the military coup began, the UN's envoy to Myanmar said at least 38 protesters were killed in the country. Today, it was the bloodiest day since the coup happened on the 1st of February. 
uh, we had uh, today, only today, 38 people died. Uh, we have now more than over 50 people died since the coup started, and many are wounded. Despite growing international condemnation, the military is continuing to escalate its response to the protests. Number one, Trump supporters rally to protest election results. On January 2021, following President-elect Joe Biden's victory, thousands of pro-Trump supporters were seen rallying in Washington, D.C. to protest election results. Earlier demonstrations had turned violent quite rapidly as they refused to accept Biden as president. This was accompanied by Trump making baseless claims of voter fraud, which were consequently rejected by the state and federal courts, as well as his own Justice Department. Today, President Trump supporters... We demand the truth. ...including the recently pardoned former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn... The courts do not decide who the next president of the United States of America will be. We the people decide. This is the president's loyal base. Not only do they still believe in him, but you still believe he won. Absolutely. Yeah, no, doubt. no doubt. They also believe, without presenting evidence, that he was robbed of an election victory. They felt that the Supreme Court should have at least heard the case. Among the protesters today, this group of proud boys, they say they're anticipating about 700 people here and the possibility of clashes with other groups. These cringe protest moments are surely a weird way to start 2021. This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video yet, it's never too late. Give it a thumbs up, people. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.